ultimately, we all have to decide for ourselves what constitutes failure. But the world is quite eager to give you a set of criteria if you let it. So I think it fair to say that by any conventional measure, a mere seven years after my graduation day, I had failed on an epic scale. An exceptionally short-lived marriage had imploded, and I was jobless, a lone parent, and as poor as it is possible to be in modern Britain without being homeless. The fears that my parents had had for me, and that I had had for myself, had both come to pass. And by every usual standard, I was the biggest failure I knew. So what can we infer from what J.K. Rowling said and why she failed? We can, for the first 30 seconds, she's talking about all the failures she experienced in life and how she epically failed after college. And we can infer that she failed because in the first 10 seconds she talked about how society wants you to conform. And that is, in my opinion, why she failed. Because she tried conforming to society, but it just didn't work out for her. Now I'm not going to stand here and tell you that failure is fun. That period of my life was a dark one, and I had no idea that there was going to be what the press has si since represented as a kind of fairy tale resolution. I had no idea then how far the tunnel extended, and for a long time any light at the end of it was a hope rather than a reality. So why do I talk about the benefits of failure? simply because failure meant a stripping away of the inessential. I stopped pretending to myself that I was anything other than what I was and began to direct all my energy into finishing the only work that mattered to me. So what can you infer about what made her failure so important? What made J.K. Rowling's failure so important was the fact that we can extract how she was rid of all uh, nonsensical intricacies in order to give her a direct focus on what she needed to do that showed that she was determined or had the perseverance to strive for the the real success that she wanted to become and did in fact endure to receive so basically failing helped her understand what she didn't want to do and put her on the right track exactly had I really succeeded at anything else, I might never have found the determination to succeed in the one arena where I believed I truly belonged. I was set free because my greatest fear had been realized and I was still alive and I still had a daughter whom I adored and I had an old typewriter and a big idea. And so rock bottom became the solid foundation on which I rebuilt my life. So how did hitting rock bottom turn J.K. Rowling's life around for the better? Um, in my opinion, hitting rock bottom turned her life for the better because, you know, she, she got this sense of what she didn't want to do. She, she could focus more on the positive things in life, what she wanted to do with her life. And she didn't become a failure in the end because where she stands today... Obviously, in a lot of people's minds, would not be a failure. She's written, what, seven books just in the Harry Potter series? I'm sure, even I know, that she has more books that I just, I'm not familiar with. Um, so, just showing how hitting rock bottom in her life helped her discover what she wanted to do. Would you say that helped her determine the success in her life? Yes and no. Yes, because she knows how... <clears throat> excuse me she knows what she wants to do she wants to not be a failure so that's how she ended up being successful through this you might never fail on the scale I did but some failure in life is inevitable it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all in which case you fail by default. Failure gave me an inner security that I had never attained by passing examinations. Failure taught me things about myself that I could have learned no other way. I discovered that I had a strong will, 
and more discipline than I had suspected. I also found out that I had friends whose value was truly above the price of rubies. The knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from setbacks means that you are, ever after, secure in your ability to survive.